Okay, so we're in high flame whale, and then we adjust the hands to the chair position, and we do the pop. Ready? Beam. Nice. Okay. So I know some of you have done this pop before, and you know it. Um, yeah, that's exactly what we're trying to <laughs> we're trying to show here. Even though you may have done this pop before, we want to find this really smooth, controlled way of doing it. Okay. So first few tips, Astri. So. Uh, flyer, don't live so much, don't engage so much, so if you are too light, it's going to be lighter for the base to pop, so you want to give the base slightly of your weight, mm -hmm. but not arching. Yeah, you don't want to be an arch. Hollow still, or almost a flat body, but hips can be, or the, the hips can be slightly dropped, slightly dropped, not dropping like that, <laughs> not lift up like that, yeah. okay? One Same. thing for both the base and the flyer is this position of the feet and the arms. This is really important to find your 90 degrees angle. So actually, no. Astri is more than 90 degrees here in her legs. It's that I want my hands over my shoulders. I see a lot of the time bases doing the pop from here. I lose control in the pop because I don't have the ability to balance it in my hands very well. Okay, so, so I want them stacked think on the shoulders. Think about base that have a 90 degrees angle to the floor and Flyer, your knees go to, uh, beyond the, the ankle. Yeah? Okay. Uh, if you haven't done a pop before and this is your first time, we use a tempo. So we'll do uh, I, the bass or whoever will give a, a physical call. So I'll be a one, two, down, up. So she knows when the pop is coming. And we can practice this a few times. Maybe we do another one. One, two, down, up. Okay. So this way we know what's happening when we do the real thing. Uh, we use the same call. One, two, down, up. Nice. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So tempo is important if you haven't done pops before. If you've done it before, I want you to focus on a few things of smoothing it out. So firstly, what the fly is doing. And then... To smooth it out, um, press a lot towards the the base's hands, and as you come up, control to come up, and also control to sit down. Not like. Let's show yeah. one and then the other. <laughs> yeah? So, so this is the what not to do. Okay, ready? Yep. <laughs> yeah? I have no resistance here in my hand, so I don't feel her balance, I don't feel any control in the pop. Compared to. She pushes down through the thighs the whole time. Okay. One more thing as a base, we can be fully stacked, but ideally a bit of bend in your arms gives you more control to kind of balance out and help the pot once it's coming through the air. Okay. So here you see I can kind of bend and receive a bit better if the arms are already slightly bent. Okay. That was a bit of a deep bend, but yeah. You get the idea. Okay. Spotting. You actually already learned how to spot this. Can we have two volunteers? We have a base and a fly. I'll fly. So no one's the base. Cool. So we did this dude grip earlier. You want to do it? You're fine. Oh yeah, sorry. You got it. Fine. So as a spotter, we're going to use two spotters for this at the start. We're going to take a dude grip with the flyer. Adjust the hands, leg okay. position first. Mm -hmm. Look second. what you need. Now, here's another important thing for a uh, flyer. Don't collapse your head back. Mm -hmm. Okay? So look towards your knees. So focusing on the spotting, we want to be facing towards the flyer. Okay? If I'm facing this way, it's hard for me to pull her up. Yeah? So I'm going to be facing this way. My second hand is just above the elbow on the bottom of the tricep area. Okay? You guys ready? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Whenever you're ready, you know. Yep. Nice, mm -hmm. not bad. Okay, and come down. Mm -hmm. So, Ashley, can you do? Can you go back to where? Go back, go back into there. Do one more. Do one. Don't give much pop. Okay. More? No. no pop. Little pop. Less ah, little. Okay. okay. Do it slightly bad. Okay. And we're you're gonna see what we do here as a spotter. Okay. Very okay. little pop. Okay. Little pop. Okay. okay. Okay, so we pull her up into position if they're not coming. 
Yeah. One more time, please. One thing. I see that's really important. Small pork? A regular pork. Um, okay. Is anyone focusing with what Zinon hands and arm and Yeah? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So, this is really important. Okay? Yeah. Tendency base, you want to go there. Or flyer guiding your ankle to forward. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, keep the shoulders above the wrist. It's going to give more control throughout the pop and the land. You should see okay. this time, probably. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay, come down. Nice. Can I ask a question? Yes. Are, are you actually like pushing this up? And are you doing this motion? Can you explain yes. explain yeah. for everyone? Okay. So we will pull. So think about okay. Okay, I want you to jump up. Okay. Hold your shape. Okay? One, two, three, three. jump. Hold your shape. Don't bring the legs forward. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, jump. Okay? So the orientation at the moment is pressing down. That's why we have it here. Because the flyers are laying down, this ah. is a second protection. So we pull, so we pull with this hand, we push with the other hand. Yeah. Same thing as this motion. Yeah? But you're not like pulling the arm. Out so of the it's not pulling the arm out of the socket, it's just think of that same do you did at the start. You know the yeah. we go, we go? It's the same thing. Yeah, I understand. Oh, you missed it. Like, we did an exercise where we pulled like this. Ah, okay. Everybody else knows. Okay, let's give it a go.